as our state is starting phase 1B of the COVID-19 vaccinations. Yeah, Olivia State Farm Stadium has turned into what will be a 24 hour vaccination site. Erin, has been live out there all morning with what we need to know about what's going on. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, the state will actually be handling those vaccination signups and registrations here at State Farm Stadium. Now, I'm told that the whole signup process will begin this morning at 9 a.m., but if you take a look behind me, you can see the parking lot here is already set up for what will be that 24-hour vaccination site. Now, already this morning, people in that phase 1B have been trying to sign up for vaccine appointments and have been running into some issues. Now the link actually went live in Maricopa County for phase 1B groups to sign up around six o'clock this morning. Now that was according to the county, but within minutes their site was overwhelmed. Now the county tweeted asking people not to access the site until after 640, uh, saying that they increased their server's capacity but the demand ended up exceeding it and that they were working on the issue. Now, again, those in phase 1B include people that are K through 12 teachers and staff members, law enforcement officers, child care workers, and those over the age of 75. Now, the state health says that uh, they, the goal is to vaccinate about 6,000 people a day. And as of yesterday, the state says that nearly 150,000 people have received their first dose. And back live here in the parking lot of State Farm Stadium, you can see the setup here. Uh, we have been seeing some state um, official cars kind of roll in here, including like a command center, and then also the National Guard here on site. Now, for those people who happen to be in Phase 1B that are essential workers or live in kind of congregated living situations, they will be able to uh, sign up to get that vaccine after this first priority group. Reporting live in Glendale, I'm Erin LeBeau for Arizona's Family.